welcome back. Today we're going to test NVIDIA Quadro NVS, more precisely the NVS 420. This is going to be an interesting video card to test it today because, uh, yes, I thought in my head it would be a very simple video because um, why not? It's an old video card, it's an old Quadro, it's an old NVS and I said, what can go wrong? I can use some old games on it and... But I found something really interesting when I got it. And it's, it's out of nowhere, you know? It's, I swear I would have not guessed this in one million years. NVS 420 has two cores on the video card. NVIDIA Quadro NVS 420. So today we're gonna test the GPU. We're gonna see how it's running in some games. And at the end, maybe we can try to benchmark the GPU in order to see if we can trigger both of the cores. I'm guessing the GPU has, uh, I'm guessing the GPU has a way to trigger that uh, dual core, you know, but uh, I don't know how, because in the settings, the video card, in the settings doesn't have any SLI configuration here. Yes. So you can actually see it's got four display ports. I'm not joking when I'm saying that the cable adapter for this video card was more expensive than the video card itself. Not funny. I got some potential game that can actually run on oh, so laggy that can actually run on this video card. So let's start with Dead Space. Uh, because apparently on uh, 1024 with 60 Hz, I can actually play the game. Theoretically, let me show you how it's running. I know I have a couple of overlays and I, this one is not okay for this because it's not a CPU. But yeah, I cannot run on 1080p. I'm going to use this one because uh, this is the best one that I have so I can see only the frames. But at the same time, until I manage to I want to see the specs of the video card. So this is a dual GPU video card, yeah? So I got two cores, one is 50, 58, 59 degrees, and one is 43 degrees. And that, that, that one doesn't work, you know? So the core load is non-existent. And the GPU memory, it's on 83, 83%, yes? Now, um, this is not funny <laughs> because it's got only many, nine, 256 megabytes how many megabytes you have 256 megabytes 64 bits eight shade eight beautiful shaders all right got where you have to go apparently this one is it shows me where i have to go i have to go that way all right we managed to reach maximum vram capacity 256 megabytes <laughs> oh. Oh, this is so weird. Oh, look at the game, seriously. It's awesome. For its age? Yep, banana boy. Let's see how it's running with, uh, with this video card. So, system settings uh, on graphics, 800 by 600. Everything is on low detail. So, yes, there is nothing special about this. Yes, so I will put this one. So, I got 23 FPS, DirectX 10, 800 by 600. Only one core is working memory is full the temperature is 60 degrees with the max fan i mean if you want to kill the video card you can we'll do it seriously <laughs> it's uh, exactly how you see it it's lagging everywhere does it run yeah it's running the game what we understand from this is that this video card is not meant to be uh, used for gaming you know despite me playing games on it it's not very recommended you know so 30 31 fps averaging fantastic fantastic from this video card that i actually starts the game you know and it's running but uh, the only thing i wish i knew how to activate the second core because i have no option for that <coughs> i have no option for that and it's a bit disappointing because this is the mo the same problem i have with the bigger video card with the s10000 you know i don't know how to use two cores on that one despite not having crossfire compatibility you know so yeah theoretically this will be the first game that actually runs and looks decent on this video card yes it's flat out yes so let's do a quick race and see how the gpu is holding yes so theoretically i have 1080p here i got like 40 50 fps and i'm so proud of it i want to win the race i i had a, a test run today with it and it was okay
Maximum cord load, VRAM half used, oh my god. Zero restarts. This is the moment. I had decent average, you know, and I was like a bit... No. Awesome suggestion. This is that moment that I will win the game. When two are fighting, don't disturb them. <laughs> All right. I mean, another game that runs on this video card, it's uh, Jade Empire. Now, I disable everything uh, here, refresh rate 140. Jesus, man, I, I don't think you can reach that, but whatever. I lower the resolution on 1024 and everything is on uh, low details. And theoretically, it needs to be okay. So this is it. This is it. This is the only thing I can do. Spirit Shine helps you focus on your inner cell, your chi, and your health are replenished. For some reason, it, the core is not fully loaded, yes, and neither the VRAM, but I still got the experience in the game, you know, so I don't know why. This is a type of game that I can actually play on a GPU like this, so I need to be focusing on uh, finding the right GPUs for this type of uh, game, you know, for instance, in this case, on this resolution, it's very good with the video card because it's only 25% memory usage. And the core is not, you know, it's, this is maximum 60 FPS if I think, if I'm right, you know, so. <laughs> right, so uh, let's try Bioshock, apparently there's not a lot of games that you can actually play on this one, so I'm trying my best to find a couple of games that I can customize, you know, and um, try to lower some graphics, some details, you know, 800 by 600. This is extremely low for a, for, for a game to be, you know, but uh, I'm trying to see if I can manage to get something, you know, like 30 FPS from games. So I got like 30, 36 FPS, look at it. And it's working. What's funny about this is that the game is actually working. It's working really low. You know, it's with low details. Half of the VRAM is used only. So yeah. What do you think about the performance? 30, 40 FPS. I think it's playable considering how sh the video card is, seriously. <laughs> it's maximum cord load, half of the VRAM is used. This is semi horror like Dead Space. I don't, I don't love the horror games. This needs to be played with maximum details, not with a video card like this, seriously. This is a waste of game and oh no, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not going to destroy the game. I'm not going to butcher the gameplay with this one, seriously, but it's running, you know, it gives me, it's, it's fluent, you know, the FPS is very fluent, you know, so considering the other games that I, I try to see if it's running on this, oh my God, this is a banana GPU, but if I had dual, I think I would have had much better FPS. But who knows, maybe I have to connect two monitors in order for it to, to activate two cores. Who knows? I, I, I know I have no chance with this game, but I, I really want to try to find a game that I can actually play on uh, online, you know? So 60 FPS, oh yeah. Let's see how many, 50 FPS, oh my God, I have, I have a game to play. Oh yeah. Okay, so I can play CSGO 1.6. Oh. More tank. Okay, this is good. This is really good. This is some kick-ass performance. See, this is what I need. I think she actually played 
uh, Half-Life or something. Whoa. All right, there is only one more game that I want to test and see if it's actually running. It's uh, Paladins, 800 by 600 with 50% render scale. It will look really horrible, but in the game, maybe I can, um, how should I say, uh, try to increase the resolution or uh, the render scale. I think the resolution will be much better to increase it. The performance is sloppy with this game. I mean, the, the core doesn't hold it, seriously. Regardless of how much I want to play the game, I'd rather find a very cheap video card in order to play. Damn, that was so, so horrible. Uh, there's a couple of DirectX 11 GPUs that can do the job. You know, you don't need to be struggling with a video card like this. This is good for a, this is good for display monitor, you know, because it's got four display ports. It's got four display ports, so it's not not ideal for gaming, seriously. Actually, we need to stay together, what do you think? We actually played with so many potato video cards and managed to play so well Paladins, but even this one, it doesn't work. Then I think you're done when you cannot play Paladins. I seen this video card for a very long time. I wanted to have it because uh, of those uh, four display ports in the back. I don't know when I am going to need a video card like this, but if I need it, I know that video card will have four display ports in the back so I can use multiple monitors. It's a fantastic idea, but I, w I knew it would be very bad for gaming. So I wanted to get it um, uh, and show you how it's working but I was a little surprised because I didn't know he had two cores you know I don't know what you think about this but I don't I, I, I mean no gaming on this video card no 